I need to know about hot point dishwasher problems. Hot point dishwashers are noisy by default, so just because it makes a lot of noise doesn't mean it is broken. I'm thinking of buying one and want to know what to know in advance. Hotpoint had a recall for them in 2014 for dishwashers made between 2008 and 2010, because they sometimes caught fire. That's a surprising problem for an appliance full of water. They have problems leaking through the bottom of the door, and that isn't something cleaning the dishwasher seal would fix. I do not know if that explains the fire hazard or not. The issue is more likely the heating element or the electrical components. Speaking of which, hot point dishwashers need water at 120 degrees or hard to get the dishes clean. A lot of dishwashers have problems removing grease and baked on food since the dishwasher detergents took out the phosphorus. They do not clean the top shelf as well as the bottom shelf, regardless of the detergent or rinse agents you use. The water sprayer really only sprays on the bottom, not really getting the top rack scrubbed but maybe just wet. So put the heavy stuff on the bottom. Hot point dishwashers do not clean dishes very well in any case. That could be offset by using the heavy duty cycle. They often have trouble washing off the detergent that it manages to get on the dishes. Aside from not cleaning well, what issues does it have mechanically? They tend to have problems with the drain pumps filling, and that separate from the drain hose often kinking. The drain failure could be due to a bad piston and nut assembly, or it might simply be a failed drain solenoid. The upper racks do not take tall glasses or large bowls. That's not as bad as the countertop dishwashers or 18-inch wide ones. Don't let the dishes go in with dried on food or they won't come out clean unless you scrub them so hard that you might as well finish the job by hand. A lot of cheap dishwashers have that problem. How reliable are they? The warranty won't let them take it back if one of their service agents can fix it, no matter how costly the repair. When parts are defective, you still have to pay for the labor to fix it even if the warranty covers the parts. Bad design, bad performance, bad service, anything else you want to add? It's hard to think of anything else that could be added. 